All right, so you're done your practice animation assignment, and now you're ready to move on to creative animation. Basically, creative animation is just making your own original animation. So if we go to the, uh, the rubric, so you click up here, there's the rubric, mine's already open. Uh, you'll see again that animation's worth 150 points. There was your practice animation, and we look over at creative animation. So there's three possibilities for creative animation. Basic animation, then there's advanced animation, and then there's a Melito animation. So a, how they're uh, separated is just in how good you do. So there's no 0 points, 10 points, 20 points. It's 60 points or bust or nothing. So if you do 150 to 199 frames of appropriate movement, so not just one keyframe at the start and one at 199, and then you move slow-mo through, but 150 to 199 frames, it's basic. 5 to 10 layers, basic. One character, basic. Basic background, basic. All six movements, just one of each, boom, basic. And then you got to export as an SWF, upload to Weebly, and then also export as MOV to the animation folder so that if I'm going to use it for the animation montage at the end of the year, that's where I will get it from. So if you want to do a little bit more, you want to get 90 points, then you up the frames, so 200 to 399 frames, again, of appropriate movement, 11 to 20 layers this time, and this time you got to sort them into folders because you might have too many uh, to just leave completely out and you got a detailed character yes but now you got additional characters or uh, and objects you got a detailed background this time and it's not just one layer it has depth and movement so like a, something in the foreground background and no no trees and sky and grass you know you already did that fear practice assignment and then you got all six movements but now you got to do four more so you might have two rotates two squishes two cutaways two zooms whatever it is and if you notice, all these movements are the exact same that you did in the practice one, right? Your, your ball bouncing was a regular movement and a squish, and the walk was rotating. It was zoom in, background move, and cutaway. So all of those tutorials, if you forget how to do any of these, you just go back and watch on how we did it over here and then try and translate it to yours. And again, the exporting is the same. A Melito animation is just going that much further. It's 400 plus frames. 21 or more layers, more than one detailed character, more objects and effects. Uh, you got, again, the detailed background, all six movements times two plus more, and then you could get 150 or more points. So if we look at this, if you got 45 points from your practice and you get 90 points here, that's 135, and you get 15 on the test that's coming later, that's 150. So there's your 150 points right there. So that's 100%. This right here, an advanced animation, that'll get you 100%. If you do a Melito animation, you're going way beyond. And that's why you're going to get your bonus more than 100% for animation. So what are you actually doing? Well, if we go back here, <coughs> you are coming up with your own idea. So there's if you watch any of these from previous years you can come up with ideas on what other people did but basically you need a character a background and you got to have that character doing something in the background right in that setting so you can start by picking a character and then deciding where they're going to be and what they're going to do or you can decide i want somebody running and then just go and look up cartoon character on Google like this cartoon character and go okay I need somebody running down the street so you can go maybe I'm gonna do it as Popeye you know because he's facing to the side um, maybe you want to pick um, let's see who else so you wouldn't want to pick these guys because they're facing the front right you if it's running down the street you're trying to find one that's facing to the side you know, maybe this guy, maybe he's the guy that's walking down the street. <clears throat> and then you go from there. So you can go from action and then pick the character or character and then pick the action. Usually backgrounds last, but you might have a good background that you found, a cartoon background, and go from there. In the next, you're not going to learn how to, because you're going to trace that character. So even this one would be a good one to pick if you're going to pick one, because 
you can you're just going to learn how in the next tutorial the how to draw a cartoon character you're going to learn how to trace your character out you're not drawing it from scratch the background you're not drawing it from scratch any objects you pick you're not drawing it from scratch you are tracing it out the only thing you have to be careful of and it says in the next tutorial as well is make sure the arms on one layer the heads on another if the eyes move they have to be in another layer and you're just tracing it out and filling it in with colors you don't have to draw from scratch uh, it's better to just trace it out so find a good one that you can trace okay and so then you got to plan out with um, a teacher or by yourself you want to plan out your animation on what's going to happen don't think of it as one big animation think of it as a bunch of little animations so go okay how am I going to do the cutaway shot well maybe I start zoomed in on uh, Bugs' face and then I cut away to him in the forest and he's doing something right there's you got to cut away right away maybe when you're zoomed in his eyes kind of look back and forth there's so you got you got a regular movement and then you got the cutaway right away and then maybe his thumb here gives it a thumbs up so his arm rotates up so you got three things that happened right there think of how you're gonna accomplish each movement don't just go I'm gonna do this because in the end you're gonna probably if you just do it what willy-nilly you're gonna end up with a bunch of regular movements and rotates and you're going to forget to squish and cut away and move, make the background move and zoom. You're going to forget these four. Do Make sure you plan it out before you start doing anything. Before you even start drawing, plan out what you think you're going to do. And then go ahead and, and get your image and then start tracing it. Okay, so a really where to get your ideas from? Well, I said right here. And then if you scroll down... There's flash project ideas. I've listed a whole bunch of possibilities that you can do, go with. And then there's some examples. You can go look on YouTube and see if you can find animation examples as well. But you don't have to copy these um, exactly what they are. You can change the characters out and backgrounds and stuff. It's to give you an idea of how to do cutaways and different movements. So it's not just one plain background the whole time and then just stuff moving around on that background. It's way your animation looks way better when there's multiple scenes, zoom ins, cutaways, close ups. You know, there's a lot, a lot more that happens that way, and it makes it look a lot better. So one that we'll watch is we'll watch that Melito animation. So if we look up here, the whole grades animation montage was three minutes and 13, 16 seconds. Melito's animation was a minute thirty five by itself. So I think he got 250 or 300 points or something from it. So we'll check his out. So his right here. Um, so he has a lot. Look, at he's got one, two, three. That was four characters already, five characters. He has the backgrounds moving. He's zoomed in here. He has speech bubbles going on, goes down. Boom, another world comes in, you know zoom in there he's got like he's there's a whole bunch of stuff happening background stuff moving right it's not just one layer he has characters um, his his guys even transform here in a second there you know a whole fight scene this is way more than you need to do to get 100 percent right this is this is way beyond but if you do this you can you can get the bonus marks you deserve for it so there you go another character comes in you know he's got a lot of stuff going on he even did credits for his where everyone comes in each character and and says stuff and bows and leaves so there you go you got your uh creative animation instructions if you need more uh guidance let one of us know um but make sure you pick when you're picking your character as you'll make sure you watch the next tutorial on how to draw a character as well maybe even before you pick a character but make sure you pick ones and it says in there make sure you pick ones that are outlined like old school cartoon drawings and not like you know better uh like 3d looking animation things like a lot of these are good because they're they're outlined but this like this this is a lot tougher because there's not like clear lines to trace so when you're picking characters don't pick a realistic looking one pick a cartoon looking one it'll make it a lot better and easier for you all right, go away.